Hello everybody, welcome to a video in your host X360 Gaming Lord. In this video I'm gonna show you how to make a custom a custom cursor like this one. I'm gonna uh, like I'm not gonna like do my best with this. In real life you should take a lot more time and it'll be a lot look a lot better. Right, so first you're just gonna choose colour. I like blue, so it's just quick. So we'll put X. As you can see, this X is italic. Wait, it's nice, easy. I'm just putting it in the center. Like it looks better in the center. Like, except you can do whatever you want. All right, so now it's in the center. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a brush. I like to use a one of these brushes. They're good, nice, easy to use, easy to erase out if you make mistakes. Yeah. So I'm just choosing a brush. So not airbrush, paintbrush. Yeah, I'll go paintbrush. Alright, so I've got to draw on this layer. Okay. So I don't know what color it's really going to turn out. I think maybe green or something. Let's check. Alright, it looks like it's going to be a really light blue. Alright. So, looks like it's a lighter blue. Change. Try to change the color. Let's see. What will it? No. All right, righty. So we're just gonna, I'm just gonna get rid of that with the, with my um, yeah, with your eraser and saw eraser. No, it didn't. yeah, it works. So. Right. So I've got my X in the middle, you might want to make it look a lot cooler, like, oh, hang on, alright, you might want to make your your letter look a lot better, so like, it's easier, so just delete layer, yep, and, oops, damn it, done it again, alright, alright, so I want to do that. Instead, alright, so, as I said, I'm not really doing this properly, right, so, yeah. So, you might go stroke, drop shadow, texture, I don't know, pointing in the middle, hang on, stroke, stroke maybe? We'll go straight. Okay. See how that looks good. Alright, so I just gotta. Now I'm just gonna like rub that stuff out. So I want. Oh, whoops. Oh, that's right. Alright, so I'm gonna go. F so we're gonna rub that stuff out. We're gonna use brush, pencil eraser, brush. All right, so we're gonna just erase. Oh, no, erase that. Erase this. Yeah, and that's all. Base it, and then, and then what you want to do, as I said, I'm just rushing it. And then what you want to do is you want to get a brush tool. What you're gonna do is you're sort of gonna like do a bit of a triangle. It's a bit too big. Too big. Big. Oh, a bit too big. There we go. So you're just gonna do a bit of a triangle. Not too big, just big enough for your comfort. Make it as even as you can. See, like that's a bit. That'll do. All right. So now you got your X and your point apart. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go file. And you're gonna go 
extra export quick export PNG save it on your desktop name or whatever you want just put random letters all right then you're gonna you're able to close it no all right then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into Google Chrome or whatever Google you have and you're gonna search up curse cursor CCC and it comes up just wait for that to load and then what you're going to do is you're going to see this. You're going to go import image, choose file, down, down, down. We're looking for like that random letter one that I just made. Here. Open. And then it's going to load. Oh, you're going to press upload. And while it loads, it's loading. Alright, so what you're going to do now, see all these white parts, just, you're going to use your rub, use this, just going to get all rid of it all, otherwise it's going to look quite bad, and you're just going to see these white, white parts. Rightio. So you're just gonna erase all this. Um, you're gonna erase it all. I just erase. That. It might take a while. All right. So yeah. Right, and you're just gonna erase every every little white box, cause that's that's from your Photoshop part, and that's pretty much the white background that you used. So you just do that. A little bit longer. Doesn't take too long usually. Like in Photoshop, I suggest you take a little bit longer with your cursor, experiment a bit more, and you'll get a nicer cursor. Like I'm just doing this to show you how to make it. So just keep doing that. I'm almost done. And. Hang on. Radio. That done. Yeah, we're almost done. Scrub it. Cross, cross. Right there. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go, see there? Download cursor. Right? And then you're going to, and then it's going to be install on your desktop. So you're just going to make sure that it's come up on your desktop. See, there it is. No, not that one. Alright, so, sorry. You're going to go into your mouse settings, so personalize. And then you're going to MOU. Right, additional mouse settings, pointers, and then you see you're gonna click browse. You're gonna go this PC downloads, and then you see that's the one we just created. Apply, wait for it to load. There you go, and that's how you make your very own custom cursor. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe. Also, when you're using Photoshop. Take a bit extra time, experiment a bit more, make it look a lot better. Yep, see ya.